you've seen how we shoot in studios where you go to the studio and everything's there. And uh, if every shoot could be that way, that would be super, but that's not the case. Uh, what you find when you start doing a lot of editorial work and, and a lot of ad jobs is you'll show up to a city, D.C., Philadelphia, Florida, uh, Moscow, whatever, uh, and you go to a hotel, and that's where you got to do a shoot, is in a hotel room that you've never been at before. So that's sort of what we're doing here today. I'm at the, actually at the Montage in Beverly Hills, and we're in room 202. And as you can see, uh, not high ceilings, maybe 15 by 15, you know, 15 by 20 foot room. We cleared out all the furniture. My assistants are gonna be coming up here shortly and we're gonna sweep, put up a seamless, and we're gonna light this room and basically pull off what I just, you know, what I do in a studio in this hotel room. I'll probably go outside uh, and that's key also because it mixes it up. So it's not just studio looking stuff. I'm gonna do some more editorial on location type photos. What I am shooting today is what you would call a test shoot or for a model. So when models want to start modeling, they need a portfolio to show clients, to show the modeling agency or what have you. This is actually how I learned photography. I didn't go to school. I was taught myself by doing this exactly what I'm going to do today. So what Leland's putting up right now are two C stands with these crossbars. And we're going to put a roll of paper up here white, gray, black, depending on what backdrop you want. We're going to be using, I believe, what are we using today? White? Uh, dove gray. Dove gray. Dove gray, which gray is nice because you can sort of go, you can almost go white with it if you blow out and you turn the lights up, lighting up the backdrop. We're going to raise it up and, uh, and then sweep it down and then we're going to light it with these other things. This umbrella is really amazing. Um, it'll take that light, which is just a bulb sticking out, shoot it into this, which will then make it go wide like that. And this texture is really good for skin. That's about all there is to it. I mean, it's... All right, we're using 7As today, made by Profoto. They're pretty amazing packs. There's newer generations, 8As are pretty rad as well. Uh, they pull a lot of electricity. It's a little difficult in these hotel rooms sometimes because they're 20 amps per pack at max power. So we'll have to be careful today not to overload the circuits in the hotel, blow them out, things like that. Uh, real amazing, real fast cycle time. Moeller owns a lot of amazing gear, so it makes our life a lot easier, really cool. This is a phase one. It's an 80 megapixel. And then I'm also using a Canon, and I'm shooting the cards. The main reason why I'm using these two different cameras is because you see the distance from where I'm at to my subject. In order to get her whole body, I'm using a 55 millimeter lens. The ability to have different, you know, multiple cameras definitely helps. Not everyone has multiple cameras. So if you don't have multiple cameras, what you need is multiple lenses. Uh, and I use that 24 to 70, I'd say on 90% of the sh shots I do, I use on that lens and that lens alone. It really covers a, a nice wide range of stuff. We're getting ready to start shooting here. This is my subject, Nat. And Nat, your mark's gonna be right there. Right. That gray little, yep. Right there. Yep, hop on there. Um, yeah. That's my favorite. You're lucky, because right high heels wouldn't work in this anyway. right out over here. Look a little more towards the mirror. So chin over, and but eyes straight ahead wherever you're looking. Yeah, there you go. Chin down, 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 down. Eyes up though. Yeah, there you go. Right now I have her facing the key light, which is throwing a nice light all over her face. When I had her looking to the left, that key was only lighting the back side of her, so it's a, sort of a different, completely different look, different vibe. I do the same thing at the guy right here, personally. As far as um, success goes, uh, the faster you can go, the happier client you're going to have. You know, at the end of the day, too, this training is, is invaluable because when you start shooting big campaigns, you don't have a lot of time on most big shoots. They're, they'll give you a subject and say you have 12 minutes to get this shot because that's all the talent can give us, or 30 minutes. So you have to be prepared. Doing shoots like this is what, you, what I have done to prepare me for those shoots uh, because I'm training. This is like my training so that when uh, the big shoots come up, you're ready for it. Uh, you're prepared. You've done enough shoots at these hotels or out with whatever that 
when the when the big job comes you're going to be ready for it uh you can't get that preparation in a classroom you can't get it you know studying you you got to do it to be prepared and the only way to do it is you know grab your camera grab grab a friend grab a model grab whoever and start shooting <laughs>